In uh... In granola news. <laughs> he looked in at me in India. India. I even knew it! He looked right at me, I was like, this is gonna be about yeah. something Indian. That's funny because I looked at you and he said granola and it was all still in the... No, I, 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 knew where you were, I knew where you were leading with this. In India! In Tell India. me. Tell me. Do I need to say in India or can I just say in India? India. Ooh, in, no, you gotta really say in okay. India. Say, Steve, where are you? There was a calf that was born with a third eye on the forehead and four nostrils, and Whoa. people are now lining up to worship it. That's a really good thing. A calf? Wait, a calf. Re repeat what you yeah, just like said. Yeah, like off your leg? I didn't listen to a single word, because I was still thinking about in India. In India. Let me just give you the photo. Of oh shit! So you got a right. of Whoa! Yo, that Whoa. is some dope ass shit. I mean, four nostrils. I gotta say, it's good. This is good. Wow. This is good for the mythology of all. <laughs> <laughs> this checks out. Huh? He calls it a mythology. <laughs> gotta say, uh, this every, helps the narrative we've gonna been get pushing. I'm gonna get killed in the in the comments for that one. But yeah, I mean, people in India are. They're always like this. They're like, oh, you're born with like a tail. You must be Hanuman, which is oh, oh yeah, like the 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 religious. Yeah. Oh, because yeah, there's yeah, like yeah, a yeah. thousand different gods yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. So everything's got to match something. So, yeah, Better I mean, than American shit, where they're like, Jesus is on this potato chip. Yeah, yeah. Jesus is in his toast that I fucking yeah, toasted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or so, Jesus is white. <laughs> <laughs> no, to that. I, I thought it was funny. One? Yeah. <laughs> It's because Jesus, Jesus looks more like me than... That's yeah. true, that's Korean yeah. Jesus out there. Korean Jesus? Yeah, he's brown. Dude, he's a Middle Eastern oh, no. Jew. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, what do they think? He just got long hair, he looks like a Venice surfer? <laughs> I know, right? Like, that's all shot. the Jesus that I grew up with? I'm like, dude, everyone is like, you know, they're seeing people in Israel and Palestine. I'm like, he looks like them. <laughs> well, the Jesus that I grew up with, he looks like a like a hipster from Highland Park, or yeah. like, uh, yeah, long hair, fucking beard. But he looks like he he looks Roman Jesus. Hey, That's the you, Roman Jesus. Do you remember yeah. back one time we had a Quest Christmas party, and then our yes, friend, yes. Paul, we knew Hollywood Jesus. Have you ever seen Hollywood yeah, Jesus? Yeah. So he he passed away, but like he used to hang out with us, and we had him at a party. And I remember you went, hey man, that's kind of too far. <laughs> That's what years ago, you, years ago, you were like, you and Mike were like, hey, this party's dope, but I think that Jesus thing's a little too far. I was like, dude, that's how he looks all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it was a costume party. And he dressed up, that offended you? No, it didn't offend me. I was just like, whoa, he, that's I was strong. Like, he's got he was the judge of the ugly sweater competition. <laughs> Jesus was? Jesus yeah. was. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. But people guy. didn't know that he's like a he's like an LA icon and they thought we had a guy dressed up as Jesus. Oh my god. We were god. like, no, this dude, he's a comedian, like his his stand-up routine is he's Jesus. Like he has like a whole That's thing. His thing. It was it was definitely funny. <laughs> <laughs> it was very memorable. You know? Well, I'm I'm glad this cow's getting a good life. I'm yeah. sure they're feeding yeah. it and worshiping. Otherwise, like in America, we would have turned this this bad boy into a yeah. cheeseburger. Yeah. Man, give me that two-eyed cow, man. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be like, dude, we can get three Big Macs from this. <laughs> Just three. <laughs> so does he have like extra ribs so I yeah. can eat it? All right. So a unique calf has been born again with four nostrils and three eyes, and locals believe it is an incarnation of God. The Holstein Frisian Jersey cow was born on a farm in. Can you say that? Go ahead. You're, we got an expert yeah, yeah. here. Where, where are we? Right here. Dude, I don't know where this is. Rajnandgaon. <laughs> Rajnandgaon. <laughs> Tennessee. <laughs> it's like not even a place. Rajnandgaon. India. Ohio. <laughs> I'm like, dude, that says that says Maryland. That's just, that was nice. Maryland. Maryland. Baltimore. He's trying to Indianize it. Tesh, can you read this? Baltimore. Baltimore. <laughs> this says Ohio. Ohio. <laughs> Ohio. That's how Indian people pronounce Ohio. Ohio. Jesus, Ohio. Bro. Ohio. Ohio. Ohio cookies. All right. Yeah, so. What's the real city? Uh, I don't know. That's hard, dude. Yeah, I don't know. This is. Chatishka, uh, yeah. The, your, your guess is as good as mine. All right. I was born and raised in New <laughs> York. So everything's so, Brooklyn. Farmer, <laughs> farmer there claims that many believe it's the Hindu god Shiva, also known as the Lord of Cattle. And pretty Shiva. much because, you know, uh, obviously cows with defects, or, I mean, I'm sorry, no. I don't want to call it a defect, but like uh, cows that, or animals that get born with these, about to fuck you up, bro. That's about to fuck you up, bro. Oh, shit. You're just saying, this is just, that's it. You, you know you just pissed off a billion people? <laughs> You're gonna say a girl with two vaginas is awesome, yeah. and a cow with a third eye is defective. Don't bring out old videos like that, dude. You can't the do that. Aren't, they, maybe they didn't see the video. They don't yet. know. <laughs> See, I learned this lesson yeah, the hard man. way. Now there's an incentive. Yeah, the callbacks never land. Yeah, I was like the first week here, I was doing massive callbacks, and they were like, dude, you need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> we all stared at you yeah, pissed. Like, what the fuck, Tesh? You weren't even here. <laughs> <laughs> Neither were you. 
Oh, Neither are you. It was just you by yourself. <laughs> it was just us three. Who was who was here for my first week? I don't know. So uh, when the calf was born, um, they found four nostrils, which further uh, saw the locals thronging our home after the nocturnal birth. The calf is moving normally and drinks milk from the mother's udder and makes good use of the third eye on its forehead to see the udder. Um, which oh, is yeah, awesome. Well, yeah, what else yeah. would you do with a third eye? Yeah. Yeah. The, well, set things on fire. I, I <laughs> like Lord Shiva does. Really? Yeah, he's the destroyer. So if he, if he looks at you, it's kind of like... Oh, sets things on... Like he yeah. Fucking, yeah, if it opens up, it, he, he fucks you up. Ooh. Oh, shit. I mean, oh, shit. So it's like Indian Cyclops. Yeah. That's yeah, tight. but there's three of them, so it's or Triclops. Cyclops Triclops. Is American. Indian Shiva? Well, Cyclops is this not Scott Indian. Summers. American <laughs> Shiva. Yeah, he's American Shiva. Locals believe the birth of the animal will bring villagers good luck and prosperity, with many showering the animal with gifts such as coconuts and flowers. That's a dope gift. This is a good gift. This is not the first calf with multiple eyes to be born. In May 2021, a three eyed calf arrived in North Wales, where it was later slaughtered. <laughs> oh, see, location, bro. Location is important. Location is everything. Location is important. Born into the wrong country. Yep. So, although the Indian calf is not destined for slaughter, its future is still uncertain, as one livestock department official believes the animal will not survive for long. Because of defect? Because it has a genetic deficiency. Uh, I don't want to call it that, guys. Don't be, don't be insensitive. Abnormality. They said that these are. I thought that was the medical term. Special gifts. <laughs> Sorry. My these bad. Are, I'm a believer. Okay. Gifts. These are rare cases, but such mutant animals do not survive for a longer period. They either live for 24 months or they join the X-Men. They didn't call it an X-Men. They an X should have called it a god. They should have called it an X-Animal. X I, I have faith this cow's gonna live longer than that. What? They always be say, they always say, oh, this thing's gonna die in a couple months, and it lives for more than that. So I think I, I have faith. That well, I'll gonna... tell you why. There's maybe I mean, if unless there's some sort of medical, you know, issue with the cow beyond the complications of having a third eye, which I don't know. This cow is gonna live a life of luxury. Yeah. What if it like all the people are gonna like bring in its food? Like it's never yeah. mm -hmm. like even if they're like we're just gonna set this cow free. Like no yeah. one's gonna kill it. They're or gonna give it, it a super amazing, amazing, beautiful life. It's just serve it everything. So it's really like Kobe like when you eat it. Ooh, right? Now you're talking just super about marble, language. Super marble, super really nice. I bet the milk is like godly. Mm. It's sacred milk. Holy milk. What if the cow just sees fourth dimensionally, so it's constantly freaking out? <laughs> what if it's in the metaverse? Look at all the shit! None of you guys see this? Yo, let's NFT this cow. Uh, How do we do this? Take let's do it. There. Let's do it right now. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna just copy and paste this. I got an <laughs> NFT. Who owns it? Does someone own the cow? Like, this is mine? The or is farmer. it like a... The farmer does. The own. farmer. Yeah. Cause I thought like the farmer like, will probably try to sell it. Make some bank off. That's what I'm yeah. thinking. Ooh, probably, huh? How much do you think you could sell in, um, a special cow like that for? Ten American dollars. In India, is it is it also you know is it unsacred to sell cows? I have no fucking clue. Damn. Come on, ask, ask, ask the farmer alliance. I got a bunch of Indian articles here lined up. I know, dude. I'm, I'm like, not far. Person, we need Kano. Kano. <laughs> in Brooklyn, can a guy sell a cow? <laughs> Real Indian on this show. <laughs> Just speak with an accent. Don't say that uh, you don't know, and everything will believe. I make up a lot of shit about Japan all the all time. The time? Do your Japanese followers get pissed? No, I just like volunteer the information. Do they think me. you're an authority yeah. on Japanese? I don't think culture. they have the ability to ask you in real time, actually. <laughs> As a Japanese American, I have to We're say. We're getting some calls. Let's uh, pick one up. This is <laughs> generation <laughs> Indian American. My, my experience with three eyed animals is very, very minimal. So. <laughs> on, a, on a sunny day, do they have a three eye sunglass? Oh. <laughs> oh yeah. Or a little umbrella right now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Has anyone been to India? Have you guys been to India? I wanna yeah. fucking go. Oh, it's a wild it's a wild place. I mean that in a good way. Mm. Uh, India I, I was I was really having an uh, incredible time when I'm there. So. I just remember like being taxied around and there's just people sitting everywhere. You guys taught there, right? I did, yeah. What do you mean yeah, sitting? Yeah, like yeah, sit, yeah. sitting on a road? There's just so many people out that just like chilling. people are just sitting on curbs everywhere. Yeah, it's, it's just there's people everywhere. Humans. There's yeah. no there's no like especially in your met metropolitan area. You just, it's un, it's you can't escape. And then, and then can't every escape hotel it. has is gated, and then every single time you come in, they're always checking for bombs under the cars. Bombs! Oh, yeah. Literally the mirrors checking under, yeah. everything, and then wow. you gotta put all your stuff through metal detectors to get through the glass doors of the hotel. It, it feels wow. crazy. Wow. But it also feels safe in a weird way, but also feels dangerous. It's kind of like, in the Philippines, they have the same saying where like, if uh, any alley that's dark, if you just squint for a couple seconds, you'll just see people chilling. Like wow. any alley. Just sitting there? You go, oh, that looks empty. Wait, no, it's not. <laughs> wow. You'll just see someone going. 